Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, again, thanks to Ed for sending this one in. Um, definitely as curious as uh, we are to find out what these 9R mod servos are all about. This one is the BLS HV 45MG. So, 45 kilogram servo, advertised as IP67, water resistant. And this one's advertised as brushless. So, let's bring in for a close-up look and see how it stacks up to the uh, cordless one that we did. So, here we have us two servos. This is the cordless. This one, that one is the brushless. So, let's see what they like speed-wise. So, this is at 6 volt. And if we just up the voltage... So this is 7.2 volt. Doesn't seem to be much in it, reaction wise, and up to 8.4 volt. I'd say it's a pretty much dead heat on the responsiveness and speed. So, all that's left to do now is get it on the uh, torture rig and see what sort of performance we get out of this one. Right, so we've got it at the same 5.8 volt or as close as 6 volt as I can get it. So we're averaging 37.2 volt at 5.89 volt, so nearly 6 volt. And let's see what the current draw is. Maxed out around 6 amp. So we'll up it to 7.2 volt. So we've got an average of 47.9 and we're pulling just under six and a half amp at that. So let's carry on up in the voltage. So we've now gone to 8.4 volt or 8.2 volt, whatever this BEC decides to do. And we're pulling just under seven amp. And we're averaging 53 kilograms of torque, which is ooh, uh, in feet pounds per inch, it's 46.1, and in newton meters, 5.2. And it's definitely considerably cooler than the other, the, the cordless version of it. But as I've been asked to do this from Ed, so. Let's do what we usually do and just drop the bottom off and just see how truthful this manufacturer is being. I mean, they are advertised as 45 kilogram servos. It's got a peak of over just over 50. So there's certainly no, there's no issue in my mind that they are the sustained 45 kilograms. Just looking to see if we've got any rubber seals. Yep. So we've got little rubber seals on the actual screws themselves. 
we've definitely got a rubber gasket running round the servo. It looks like it's all covered in conformal coating as well, which will add to the water resistance. And we've definitely got a um, three terminal brushless motor with a full brushless controller in there. So yeah, the, these are definitely as advertised. So really not a deal between these two servos. Whether you go for the brushless one or the coreless, the brushless one is slightly more powerful peak. There's no doubt in my mind that the 45 kilogram rating is bang on for both of them. Um, don't forget on this, we're measuring a short bang to a stop. So you're going to get a slightly higher peak reading, even if you average it out. But there's no doubt in my mind these are... At, l at the very least what they're advertised as um, certainly for the certainly for the brushless one I would say it's probably at 8.4 volts slightly above spec but there's no worries in my mind you're not getting uh, ripped off with these the brushless is brushless the coreless is coreless they have got an attempt to make them water resistant does look like they draw very similar power but it looks like the brushless one is more powerful at that sort of voltage but power draw wise not a lot between them um, you're gonna need to be safe you're gonna be wanting to run i would say probably an 8 amp bc to power these properly um, both of them could hit over seven if they pushed but yeah really nice servos so let's wrap this one up so there we have it a pair of uh, really nice brushed and brushless servos uh, this one was the BLS HV 45 MG both metal cases metal geared really nice and uh, yeah I've got no issues whatsoever recommending either one of these servos I've got a whole bunch of 9i mod servos myself now, um, which some of them have had a pretty hard time in the Tamiya cars, um, touring car racing, and the M07, I believe, has got one. And yeah, I cannot fault them at all. Not had a single failure yet. Thanks again for sending these in to uh, Ed. The uh, He's a subscriber of the channel and a friend on Facebook. But... If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, share to friends and family, and uh, catch you guys again in the next one.